unboxing of a kendama that I recently purchased. This was inspired by the Lego YouTube video. You probably can't tell, but I did a lot of practice for the episode. I borrowed this one from a friend and I sadly have to return it soon. So I ordered my own. I'm a solar prime. This one from Kendama USA through Amazon. I'm so excited! It comes in this little nifty box. This logo right here, you can see it, basically states that it's the Japanese philosophy of constant improvement. This is so accurate because there are so many tricks that you learn with this thing and it's so overwhelming. This would be a fun activity to do in the summer on the beach instead of just lying in the sun the whole time. If you don't want to be cold in the water, you can just practice this with the sand between your toes and I just think it would be very lovely. So I'm going to be doing that this summer. Even if I look like a complete moron, I try really hard. <laughs> It's labeled for like what they are. Well, that's so neat. It comes with extra string. It comes with stickers. I love me some stickers. Wow, they are so generous. Look at all of these. I, I feel like I don't deserve to put these on anything until I'm decent at it. I can so far do big cup catch, the small cup catch, and the base cup catch. Oh man, guys. Hello friend. Welcome to my house. I believe this string is the correct length. I'm gonna hold it to make sure. Hmm. So I'm holding up the kendamas right now. Um, my friend's versus the one I just purchased. And as you can see, mine is clearly shorter. Um, I'm not sure why that is, and I can always just readjust it. Um, I don't know if it was a fluke or if my friend just decided to make his, his a little bit longer. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to help or hinder me, but uh, we're going to check it out right now. Also, can I just say one of the reasons that I purchased it in this color was because it matches my pants. I'm a little afraid to use this. I'm afraid I'm going to scratch it. So one of the things that I've noticed is that um, this one feels a little bit more slippery than this one. And I think it might just be because this has been used more, so it's more dented and has a little bit more of a grip to it. Um, but I'm thinking as the wear and tear moves on, uh, this one might be a little bit easier to use. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, here's the verdict, guys. I love how this one feels. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. I just think it needs a little bit more getting used to. I feel like they're not all created equally. I'm thinking if I got a matte ball, kind of like the same material, something that's not shiny, I'm wondering if the grip would be a little bit easier. I also suck at Kendama, so that's already a thing. <laughs> 
So any of the videos that you've seen, like, I'm super, super beginner, but I'm having fun with it and I feel like that's one of the biggest pointers to take away. If there's something new in your life and you want to try it, then just go for it. I spent the majority of my life living in this little bubble and that was what I was comfortable with and that's what I, I knew. And there's a lot of things in life I realized that I've missed out on because of that because I would tell myself, oh, I'm not good at it, therefore I didn't want to do it. But now that I'm getting older, I'm realizing it's fun to take risks and it's fun to put yourself out there and just try new things and you guys can laugh at me it's totally okay um but you go ahead you try this and you tell me how easy it was for you <laughs> thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope that it inspired you to jump outside of your comfort zone if you have any other recommendations of little gadgets like this that you'd like me to try let me know in the comments down below until next time